Well, hello everybody. I am very nervous today uh, because I'm going to be drilling holes in a really good condition panel. I've never done bonnet pins before, so this is a bit dumb for me to be making a how-to. But you know what? I am at my most thorough when I'm teaching. So hopefully, I'm going to fit these with a drill and make some holes and file them out and then I'm going to pop some rivets in and it's going to work because of you guys because I'm teaching you guys I can guarantee you now if I was doing this and I wasn't trying to show anyone I would most definitely mess it up so that sounds fun doesn't it so this is pretty much what you need okay so this is a set off eBay they are that's your pin that's your locker that's where it attaches using one, two, three rivets onto your bonnet. That is the top and bottom bolt to hold these in the right place, height-wise. And there are some rivets to one, two, three, four, five, six to uh, keep them in place. So the first thing you need to do is establish where you want them to be. Now on the Laguna, I'm going to inlay a photo now. is roughly about there. Okay, are we agreed? By about the headlight, a little bit, up, about there, All right? Fortunately, fortunately, we have, what heavy, holes already. There and there. So what I'll do is I'll bolt those in. I'll put a little bit of paint on the top and where it touches here that's where it's going to be needing to be drilled out and from there i will hopefully not make an absolute hash of this because this is apart from dirty in very good condition this is a very clean original car forty-two thousand miles and this is desperately desperately nerve-wracking for me because normally i work on shit boxes Okay guys, so the washers that are provided, they're a little bit small for that hole. So I've stolen some out of my engine uh, rack for now. I will buy some more. Uh, at some point I'll do it properly. And that just, that'll just uh, hold it in a little bit nicer. All right, so that on top. I'm not a massive fan of the fact that this can move, but I'll try and get it as centered as possible. If I can. And on the undersides. And if I hold this all in the right place, start screwing it in. Glass one important factor as well. Make sure your stuff's bolted in. Definitely make sure this is bolted in the right place. Because if that ain't bolting in the right place, you are in problems. Can anybody uh, please let me know what are the correct ones to go in this? I've had it apart and I can't remember how to put it back together again. Or at least I know how to put it back together again. I just can't remember uh, what the right screws are, which is nice. That's tight. Just, I'm gonna do off camera at the other side and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so upon inspection of the, the pictures, these go that way. Because the clip comes in that way or that way. I think it's that way. Either way, I'll have a look properly before I drill these in. This is a lower priority, but it's not that way. So specifically, the hole is front to back. It's nice to know before I go and mess it all up. So what I've got to do now is mark the top, a little bit of paint or something. So probably I'm gonna get some tape on it and then put some paint on it. And I'm gonna lower the bonnet and it will mark where I need to drill my holes. 
from there, the easiest thing I think I'm gonna do is just pop a hole like that, tape around, and I'm just gonna spray directly down with something nice and bright. So this is, I believe, red. Please tell me it's red. It's supposed to be red. Oh, okay. Right. That's it. Done. Close the bonnet. Go from there. Now I've already got an idea of where this should be from drawing a hole, drawing a hole, drawing a circle through the hole originally, but I thought this would be a more accurate way of doing it. So, dot there, that's a good thing I've got it different, and that's a good thing there I've got it different, because uh, they are quite different from where I thought they were going to be. Uh, now I've got to work out if they are in line with each other and if I've done something else wrong. I'm going to do a couple of measurements real quick, just work out if I'm in the right place. Uh, resting. Oh, I've got paint on it, just there. See if this works out the same. That's a substantial bit of difference, isn't it? Just there to there. Let's work out what's going on, shall we? One eternity later. Now I'm gonna find a small drill bit and very carefully start drilling this hole. Knowing the size of this, I'm gonna drill one hole in the middle, of one hole to one side, one hole to the other side, then one hole in the middle. I'm gonna see how they end up. God, you fucking shit for brains, piece of crap. What's your profanity? I pushed too hard. Bonnet nearly fell on me. Snapped my drill bit. Fantastic. <sighs> we move forwards. That one's in slightly the wrong place. Hopefully I can fix this. God, I don't want to cause too much of a mess. I can avoid it. Don't really want that hole in the first place. So ideally you want to pierce the first hole through from the underside and then I'll actually go to the other side and drill through this way. Um, I'm also going to lay some tape to try and stop it from getting further damaged if possible. All right, so I push through where I've got the holes already.
work out where I want to be. I'm going to go up one size. Oh, wow. What have you done, Christopher? This is really, like, quite scary now. It's dropped a couple of times and it's dented it. I'm going to have to work no, from the inside so I can do. No, God, please, no! I'm going to try filing. He's about to do something stupid. Thousand years later. Well, that took a very long time and I'm very achy and tired. My um, very expensive DeWalt drill, very high quality supposedly, um, it's got a battery, but it, it's dead. So, uh, I'm going to have to come back tomorrow. This, I really wanted to get this out of the way today. However, I will lock it up just for pleasing myself's sake. And I'll show you guys what to look forward to in the next coming days for me, minutes for you. Let me take you off the tripod. That's what we're looking at. Oh, wow, I'm on two times zoom. Zoom? Zoom. Heck yes. That's cool, isn't it? I like it. I like it a lot. Obviously, when it comes to drilling those next holes, it should be a little bit easier because they're just like tiny little pilots. But yeah, it's really coming together. Racy wheels, racy seat, racy exterior bits going on. I'm happy with that. So, on this video, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. However, I'm going to come back tomorrow and go bzz, 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 and drill through those. I'm also going to set the height, uh, and then I'm probably going to give them uh, a bit of gold paint to uh, fix them up because they are currently very scratched. Uh, I would suggest if you buy a cheap set, buying two sets, one as a sacrificial one because they didn't half get banged up in the process of off and on and off and on and off and on. But um, hey, I'm just clearly rubbish at these things. Um, God forbid what the rest of the car is going to end up like. Um, I honestly thought it was going very wrong at one point and it just turned out that the hole was way too small and as I started getting bigger, it neatened it up. So it actually looks all right, to be fair. Um, God. If I could show you an unedited version of this, good lord. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned, we'll finish it up. However, you'll see me in different clothes and hopefully in a better mood because I am so ready for bed. So ready for bed. Right guys, well, it is another day. Uh, it is considerably more days than I wanted it to be. However, I've got the drill with me. 
I've also gone to Hobbycraft and picked up some gold markers. That's a, like literally gold gold. And that's quite a yellowy gold and it's an acrylic paint marker, which supposedly dries really quickly. I think this might be ideal. Uh, what I'm gonna do, because those other ones, I, I bought another set, you know how I said that it's probably worth using a sacrificial? Yeah, uh, they haven't arrived. They were on a two day delivery and uh, China, hey? On that note, I am going to head up there now and I'm gonna ba basically paint in the ones that I've got. Now, what you'll see is that they came with screws and with rivets. So I'll drill the hole, but I'll put the screws in because I don't wanna have to drill out rivets. And when the new set comes, I'll rivet them. But you won't see that. So on the final reveal, you'll see screws, which is not normally how I would suggest to do them permanently. But um, hey, it gets a video out for you guys and I can always touch it in another time. Just da -da -da -da, done. The holes will be in the same place. The object itself will be the same. It just will be an un touched up one so uh yeah enjoy i've also had a haircut as you can tell i look very uh handsome of course it's exactly what you were thinking um very cold very cold during this slightly cold snap in january to have a skin fade um scarves and hats i think so back up the unit what we're gonna do real quick take these off because obviously they're just mocked up from the other day I've drawn marks around here that I need to get rid of, so I'm just going to mark, like get rid of those marks, remark them, drill holes, then with the holes that have been drilled, because these ones are the ones that I'm not going to be keeping because they're a bit bashed up and knackered, I'm going to just put screws in because the kit comes, as I said, with screws and with rivets. Another time off camera, you won't see it, uh, I recommend to you to do it with rivets. I will come back with the other set that turn up and I will rivet them on. But these are looking absolutely knackered where I've scratched, scratched, scratched. One thing I'd recommend in future, you mark up where it's gonna be. You then use that as a center point for a hole saw, okay? If you haven't got a hole saw, if you don't know what a hole saw is, it's one of these, okay? You stick that in a drill and you can make a hole that is considerably bigger, okay? The bottom, the bottom doesn't need to be as neat and one of the things that's taken me the longest is getting everything to sit nicely um, and it's just to get that to not scratch it's just taken so so long so what I would recommend drill a, a larger hole underneath and only like only where this top skin is in contact with this is where you should do the, the finer hole because you need to make it neater because of this. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Right, so as you can see, lots and lots of scratch marks. I've got these in the place that I want them to be in. These top pieces are fine. I just need to get rid of some of the black permanent marker that I use to mark things up. So I've also filed down here and rounded these corners off where they were originally scratched up a little bit. So this is now good to just uh, chuck a paint pen onto. I bought two different ones. That's just a straight gold one. But because I'm gonna keep these top bits, probably, or at least for now, uh, I'm gonna use a matching one so as not to have a difference in color. That looks like it's probably gonna be an awful lot closer. These are acrylic markers uh, in like a metallic, supposedly in a metallic colour. They are available, as I said, at Hobbycraft. Right, so this, I'm literally just going to chuck it all over. Everywhere that's going to be visible, everywhere that's being scratched. These are aluminium, so it doesn't matter about whether or not they have paint on them in terms of corrosion. Uh, but it just looks a bit rubbish. Obviously, this is just what I'm doing so that you have a nice thing to look at at the end and so that I don't sit there and go, this has all been a waste of time. But I do have, as I keep saying, a second set that I will uh, be putting on, hence the screws that you're going to see. I probably sound like a broken record at this point. 
I'm just really trying to justify why they, why it's not going to look as crazy good as I hoped it would. But hopefully for you guys, it will look you know good enough, and there'll be a level of understanding that uh, this is just sometimes sort of what happens when you do something for the first time is that it doesn't go absolutely perfectly. And you know what? I'd much rather the thing that goes wrong be in relation to the easily replaceable cheap part than the bonnet, for example. So this is obviously the rings that I've drawn around. Uh, it doesn't come off particularly quickly. It just means that I can remark now in the exact correct place. See, I like to think that I'm going to make these little mistakes so that you don't have to. All right. I recommend you get this panel really nice and clean, free of any dirt before you put these on. You won't get a chance to do anything else with it once they're on, really. All right, it's time to mark these up. Okay. Moment of truth. These screws that I'm using, pretty tiny. So just a really little drill bit. We'll just tink, tink, tink. Come from there. Don't forget to centre punch these. And make a nice difference when it comes to drilling these holes as nicely as you can. There you go. That should stop the drill bit from wandering. So a quick disclaimer just before I show you the finished product as what you're gonna see. I've put the headlights back in, which you'll have obviously known. Uh, but I've also thought, you know what? I haven't done anything with the suspension yet and I've worked out what I'm gonna do. That'll come in a later episode. But what I have done is removed all of the hub and everything, as you know. So I've jacked up the car to get uh, a wheel in and then lower the car back down again on a jack just to see what it would look like. And well, oof. So yeah, you're gonna see a slightly more finished product, as it were, uh, that includes that as well. And hopefully that makes you as excited as it makes me. So guys, not the greatest how-to I've ever done, I'll admit, uh, but it is how to do it. It also shows some bits how not to do it. Uh, as I said, what I would do in future is I would mark this and then I would mark it against the bottom of the bonnet, but then I would use a hole saw. I'd mark that out, get rid of a large amount and then just sh shape that up, right? There's no point trying to make that bottom bit fancy. Uh, only bother trying to make where this interacts with the actual top of the bonnet skin. The other thing that you didn't see me do that I've done off camera that's worth noting is uh, use a paint pen.
just to mark up any of the areas of bare metal because obviously you don't want it rusty. The, these are made of aluminium, but the bonnet, on a lot of cars at least, is made of steel. Uh, as is if you drill holes in the slam panel, the majority of the time a slam panel is steel as well, unless you've got something like a Tesla and that's magnesium, but Tesla, right? Anyway, I'm going to do something that I normally don't do, but I think it's important at this stage to push where I'm available, okay? I am at Chris the Car Builder on Instagram. I am also Chris the Car Builder on Facebook. I don't do very much with Facebook at the moment, but I do post quite a lot on Instagram. So if you want any little sneaky peek updates or some extra photos or anything like that, I also post things like polls, a little bit of my home life story is in amongst it as well. But uh, yeah, that's that's another place for you to get a little bit uh, a little bit of extra info on what's going on with the build and what my plans are. Um, so yeah guys, that's it for this episode. Please follow me on Instagram at Chris the Car Builder. Follow my Facebook page if you so wish, Chris the Car Builder. If you're new here, please subscribe here, notification bell on, all that good stuff so that you can see when I post. I do attempt to post every single Sunday at 7 p.m. GMT. Uh, but just supposing it doesn't happen, uh, it would be nice uh, if you got that notification bell dinging saying that it's there so you don't miss an upload. So yeah, thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.